Good afternoon. Good afternoon, people, and welcome to this lunchtime live on depression. I um I decided to set this session because um last week we spoke about anxiety and what anxiety was, particularly at this time of year. And um obviously depression sort of fitted in nicely because with Blue Monday, which has just gone, um, I'm hoping that you you didn't actually have a Blue Monday. I saw some really fantastic companies uh, doing some really, really cool stuff around uh, mental health and around uh, supporting their teams doing Brew Monday instead to just kind of change the rhetoric on, on that. So um, I thought that was absolutely fantastic seeing companies make that effort with um with their with their people and uh i certainly would implore you to do the same if you're watching this and you've got a team of people these sorts of activities are really good i will pre-warn you that at any moment um the uh the smoke alarm may go off because we've got some uh uh cheese on toast being cooked um i shan't tell you any cheese on toast uh jokes particularly but there is an in joke at flagship partners around burning cheese on toast um you know who you are and um yeah so but anyway it looks like I might have got away with it, which is fantastic. So, um, yeah, really, really pleased there that we're not getting interrupted with an annoying fire alarm um, going off. But uh, nonetheless, uh, so depression and um, understanding what uh, what it is and certainly things that you can do to, to help support yourself and, and how to get more help um, and that kind of thing. And certainly as a business, what, what you can do with your team members to help support, raise awareness and signpost people uh, to help support them. Um, so we offer a range of training at flagship partners around mental health in the workplace and mental health awareness and um, and, and different strategies to help support people um, in, in their workplace and to help you uh, as an employer to help support people too. We can help with policy, we can help with strategies. One of the things we do recommend is don't just tick the training box uh, we recommend that there's a, a more structured approach one of the things I mentioned in last week's po uh, podcast and and live was around making sure that people know it's for them um, and the communication you do as a company is really really important and making sure you've got a coherent message around the support that you're offering people and how you're helping them not just ticking the training box so anyway what 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 is depression then so um you know it, it's more than feeling just a bit unhappy or fed up for a few days right because everyone feels like that occasionally um you know we all go through periods of feeling down um and uh you know it can be it can be a challenge particularly particularly this time of year um you know we can be going to work in the dark coming home in the dark and it can take its toll on us and it can be really really challenging but unlike that proper depression is uh, or, or real depression around needing to get support from a doctor and seeking further support you know you'll feel persistently sad and down for several weeks or months and and this is the information that i've got here from from the nhs website to make sure that i'm sort of quoting correctly um you know some people may think that depression is trivial um and uh Oh, thank you very much. A LinkedIn user. I can't see your name, I'm afraid to shout you out, but um, cheese on toast, always a winner. Great topic, Pete. My blog post today touches on loneliness in the driving sector. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Loneliness. We're going to talk about that actually as part of depression. So, uh, yeah, thanks for your comment. Um, you know, some people think that depression may be trivial and not a genuine health condition, a bit like what I've just said. Everyone feels depressed occasionally, so some people might not treat it in the way it should do. Um, so certainly as a workplace, one of the things we employ you to do is, is to take, take it seriously. You know, um, it is a genuine health condition. Um, you know, it's a real illness, there's real symptoms. Um, it's not a sign of weakness and telling people to just snap out of it or pull yourself together is not helpful and it won't help support people. Um, it's a really unhelpful thing to do. Um, so we need to make sure that people are educated properly around that. And hopefully this video will help to do that. Um, you know, the good news is that with the right treatment and support, most people make a full recovery. Um, however, without the right support and without the right framework, you know, it can lead to, um, you know, really, really horrible situations where, where you know, people people do things that, that uh, are totally, totally regrettable to themselves. So, um, you know, essentially depression, it ranges from uh, feelings of lasting unhappiness and hopelessness. Uh, you know, people will often lose interest uh, in the things that they used to enjoy and sometimes feel tearful. It goes hand in hand with other symptoms around anxiety that I discussed last week as well. Um, and certainly physical symptoms too. You know, someone feeling tired, sleeping really badly, having no appetite, loss of appetite, um, you know, reduced sex drive, reduced 
aches and pains. I know those might be not might not be things that you talk about readily in the workplace, but if you take some time to ask someone questions and listen and speak to them, then these are some of the things to keep an eye out for, and certainly to signpost people. Um, if these, like a lot of these things. We all feel them from time to time. We all feel that way from time to time. So um, it's good to make sure that we signpost people when when they are sort of feeling these things over a period of time uh, for a sustained period of time for, you know, the, the website here says for several weeks onwards, um, we, we recommend signposting people to, the, to their GP, make sure they speak to uh, their, their GP. Um, you know, most people f experience feelings of stress, anxiety and low mood during difficult times. Um, this time of year can be really hard. Like I said previously, the weather's not great. Um, and a low mood may improve after a short period of time rather than necessarily being a sign of depression. Uh, interestingly, when I was doing, doing doing my research to make sure I'm, I'm well informed when I'm speaking to you about this and making sure that everything's on point, um, the NHS does have a self-assessment tool on there, which I, I really re recommend checking out. Um, that's a really good place to signpost um, and for people to be honest and, and to create that conversation. Um, but yeah, so go on the NHS website. If you if you search in depression, then uh, the, the self-assessment tool comes up. I think that's a that's a really good good solution there. Uh, make sure you speak to the doctor. There's lots of treatment that can be you can be supported with. There's talking therapies. Last week I mentioned CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, and there's also medication as well, which may help support your situation too, depending on um, what your what the causes are and what your challenges are as well. But a doctor will help support that as well. There's a range of really good information online as well. So it's really worth checking those things out if you're feeling that way and you want to find out more. Um, you know, there's various, various causes, stressful events. Uh, you know, people have certain disposition more likely to suffer from depression from their personality or, um, you know, situations in their life, um, certainly from a family history as well. Um, and loneliness as well. The, the, person's commented on the on, on the on the video quite kindly around loneliness loneliness is a real driver of depression and we're all more lonely than ever um i was listening to stephen bartlett's book recently on happy, called happy sexy millionaire brilliant book have a listen to that or the diary of a ceo podcast another really really good podcast um and he talks a lot about loneliness and as as we're better connected than ever from social media point of view, actually loneliness has, has hugely increased and that's something that we really need to watch out for. So that's a key, a key cause as well um, is loneliness, alcohol and drugs um, obviously lead to that as well as other illnesses as well. You know, if someone's got a physical ailment, they might have um, arthritis or something like that, which is really negatively impacting them physically that can also lead to, to mental health challenges. It can lead to depression too. So th those may be a key indicator as well to watch out for, uh, particularly amongst your friends and amongst your peers and, and colleagues at work. Um, you know, there's, there's lots of things. And I think what I'm here to, to do is to sort of go, well, what, what can we do to help support that? So there's lots of things that we can talk about um, and being open. So one of the things is to reduce the stigma around, around this, uh, hopefully by this video, watching this video, sharing it with your team members um, and sharing information with team members around uh, and people as well, that essentially this is a, a genuine illness. We need to talk about it. It is normal um, and uh, that, you know, telling people to pull themselves together and snap out of it isn't helpful. So let's have positive conversations and help signpost people to get to get support as well. Um, there's certain lifestyle changes that will help support, you know, from a exercise point of view, increasing the, the amount of exercise we do, getting outside, getting into nature. Certainly the weather's really nice at the moment. If I worked a normal standard day from starting uh, in the dark and finishing in the dark and not really seeing any sunlight, that that's not very positive. That can um, really help uh, reduce mood and reduce feelings of wellness so getting outside getting in the sunshine really really useful eating a decent diet you know we have this fast food culture um and uh, that's not that's not good for us that doesn't help sustain us and help us feel good so the more natural the food the better is my suggestion general things of well-being so there's uh, lots of things we can do to uh to, to feel gratitude to feel grateful for the, the the position we're in and the things that uh, we have and the, the the facilities we have available to us so i'd certainly recommend taking time to do that i mentioned meditation in my last video um, and i'll reiterate that i think that's a really good opportunity for people to be able to reflect 
on on their situation and there's often lots of positives that are there um to, to help consider um, and help support uh well-being as well uh, I, I briefly touched on social media i think social media can be really really difficult for people if they're having um, a particularly difficult time um at the, at, at the moment i think a social media break is a really positive thing to do i think we should do much more of much more of that um having regular breaks detox shall we say from screen time um i think it doesn't help support um it, does, it doesn't help support people they'll see people essentially just showing a frame of a life at a certain point okay and that isn't really their life um that's uh you know it, it's social media it's just a facade it's not actually real and um, i think the more we remind ourselves that what we see on social media isn't necessarily real um it's just a little box of something that's happened and some words it may be completely false it may not be true it doesn't give a true demonstration of someone's physical or actual reality um it is literally just a choreographed element of um, what someone's willing to share about their life at a certain time so social media is a bad thing obviously it drives the need for um recognition and likes and comments and support from you know the acceptance of other people um and that can be um that can obviously take its toll on people negatively as well um as well as people being negative about about you on social media too so um i think that can be a real good thing to just take a step away from um and um I, you know i certainly uh, certainly recommend uh, doing that and there's lots of other things that people don't really talk about as well people feel uncomfortable talking about them debt and divorce as well things that we often think are taboo and, and people don't want to hear about and oh that's a depressing subject well actually they're common to all of us so actually why not have the conversation why not talk to people about it you know i had crippling crippling problems with debt 10 years ago 12 years ago when i was uh much younger i had i had real real challenges um certainly personally and that you know they made that they made life really really difficult and um i think that without getting the support you need and, and being open and talking to people you can't you can't get through these things so it's really really uh, vital that we we seek and seek help and speak to people from a family point of view um you know if someone in your family or, or one of your colleagues is is uh having challenges supporting taking care of people making sure that you're not critical of people um, be positive in the things you can offer um, and be open about situations and listen oh i've got sue ulti again pete i left the comment earlier i only watch listen to the news once a day as the negativity of every bulletin was starting to overwhelm me dial down to boost up yeah 100 percent 100 percent sue thanks for joining uh, for some reason the software i'm using it's coming you for bringing you through as a linkedin user so i can't see that i'll be able to see that later when i come on to linkedin um so i appreciate you joining in the, the conversation um yeah you're absolutely right news as much as social media news is there to grab our attention um the 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 news channels we've got this 24-hour news culture now so sometimes the fact is is there isn't anything newsworthy in a 24-hour period so guess what they make it up or they make it seem worse than it is or uh they speculate and um you know it's it, it's awful uh, i don't watch the news don't really watch the news at all anymore uh, i might catch it in the morning to see what's happening but i really try and switch off my theory is is that if something really newsworthy happens i'll hear about it so um i much prefer to concentrate on my own thing that's really helped my well-being um is to just switch the news off i have so i have specific social media time some people will think oh pete's on social media all the time always posting and things like that actually i i manage social media i make sure that i, I i'm only on there at certain times and i try to not let it interfere with family time um sometimes it can be a challenge as uh, i'm sure maggie would tell you honestly um sometimes i do struggle sometimes i'm caught with my phone and i'm missing out on awesome stuff that's happening around me but um i certainly think disconnecting is a really good start and uh, i definitely think i think the key thing the key message i wanted to give was to um you know notice what's great notice what's good have a good conversation with people be open don't um don't think that you know your um depressing feelings are going to last forever because there's always something around the corner it doesn't last forever but certainly seek help where you need it whether you've been feeling that way for a longer period of time and you may actually be diagnosed with depression you need to go and speak to a doctor but ultimately just talk to people in person don't you know don't do the social media thing disconnect from it have a chat go for a walk 
get some exercise, eat some healthy food, make sure you get some really good sleep and, um, and, and see how much improved you are. I'm more than happy to have a chat. If anyone wants to, um, wants to give me a shout, I'd be more than happy to help support and signpost you in the right direction. Anyway, keep up the chat. I hope you've enjoyed it. Found it interesting. Um, podcast comes out every Friday morning. Um, join me on LinkedIn. Um, join me in Facebook group around uh, Trout. We speak specifically about transport in my transport manager and consultant hub Facebook group. Um, yeah and uh, if you're interested in mental health training mental health support strategy anything like that in your in your business and with your team then reach out to flagship partners we've got a range of trainers you don't necessarily have to put up with me if you're not a fan uh, i have got alternative offers for you as well good people who are very good and knowledgeable about what they're doing um, and can help make your business better and help you nurture your people as well because when you employ people you're employing the whole person um, and uh, and everything that comes along with them so the right thing to do is to help support people in your business and to to help look after them um yeah if you've got any questions give me a shout bye